Hello, this is Heather Hoffman. I'm here to show you some tips and tricks using our Perfect Sentiments hot foil stamp and die combination. This fun and unique set is a stamp set that is all one piece with lots of different sentiments on there. And I found that even though it fits on an A2 panel, it's easiest to start by using a little bit larger piece of cardstock. This just gives me room in my misty to use my magnets to hold my cardstock down and a little more wiggle room for my dies to fit. Um, I generally like to conserve paper, but in this case, I found it definitely helps make this a little easier to use. I'm gonna stamp this in detail black ink. I made sure my cardstock was aligned in the bottom right corner. I'm just using a microfiber cloth um, just to rub around on the top. You can just press down or rub with your hands. I found that just saves my hands a little bit and kind of smooths the process a little bit. And thanks to my Misty, I'm gonna stamp multiple times since this is a nice large image and I want a really crisp black impression. I am taking advantage of keeping that lined up to be able to stamp that really well. And then if there's anything that's kind of close to my magnets that I notice I didn't quite get as good of an impression as I want, I can just dab a little more ink and just press that spot down to fix it a little bit. And there you go with that. We now have all of those sentiments. Now we just need to line up the die and die cut these. Now you're gonna to wanna to use a removable, easily removable tape. I'm gonna use post-it tape. These are just a couple examples of ones I use often. And the easiest way I found to line this up is um, as you rest it on there, I like to just check all of the spots in the four corners. First, I pick two diagonal corners and try and line those up as close as I can. And if they feel a little off on the other corners, I'll just kind of wiggle it around until those spots are lined up the best I can get them. This is going to ensure that you have this die lined up the best that you possibly can. Now, normally I would die cut it this way, but I heard a tip to run it through horizontally through your machine, especially if your plates are a little bit warped. This is just going to help keep that die from flexing and moving at all. So you're going to get the absolute best die cut that you possibly can. And then it's just a matter of popping each one of those out of the die. And within a few minutes, you have so many sentiments all in one stamp and one die cut pass. I love um, just this mix and match and how I can have these in my stash to quickly add um, to my card creations when I know that I want um, just a perfect basic sentiment. All right, now this works fabulous with that die and the stamp combo, but you can do the exact same thing with the coordinating hot foil plate. I already have uh, one panel here that I have hot foiled. Um, you might notice on this one, I just did it on an A2 card panel and it's a little tight on there. That's why I suggested that extra space when you're stamping, the same thing would apply to hot foiling to make it a little bit easier. But I'm gonna do the same thing, line up that die and die cut those and then you get the exact same effect only in a hot foiled version and all of these great sentiments. Um, with the stamp set, you can also heat emboss or stamp in your favorite colored ink and then you have lots of options to go that way as well. If you wanted to stamp in multiple colors, you could easily mask them off and accomplish that as well. All right, so here we have all of those sentiments lined up together with the hot foil, all of the sentiments there stamped in detail black ink. And again, this is using the perfect sentiments, one piece stamp set, one piece coordinating die, and one piece hot foil plate. Thanks so much for coming by. I hope some of these tricks made it a little easier for you to use this combo of products.